Hey, I'm Specter Ball and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be talking about gear. We will be talking about music and the gear that I use in my studio. Now, a couple of months ago I won a Crane Song Solaris uh, from a Gear Sluts uh, contest uh, with KMR Audio. I fell over my chair when I got the email saying you won the Crane Song Solaris. Please write to this email, and I flipped out. I didn't actually, I didn't even believe it. I was like, "Holy crap! I, I won the Crane Song Solaris!" So I started jumping in my studio up and down like a madman. Anyway, so after I got the Crane Song Solaris, I started comparing it to the MyTech X8. I have the MyTech X8, and I use them for analog summing. Really great converters. I will be making another video about that. I will say that the Crane Song Solaris was, there was a difference. It felt like a veil was lifted from the sound, the sound was more open, there was more air in the top end, the mid-range had a, a much um, wider stereo field, it felt more wider, and also the low end felt more extended. Also it just sounded pleasant. I will say that I was very impressed with the sound and I was wow this this really sounds really great but the test is for me is how does it work when I'm mixing is it gonna make my life easier and the great news is that it does make my life easier I didn't have to do broad EQ strokes when using this converter I did a little EQ here a little EQ there a little EQ here and I got to where I wanted to go now I don't want to mix without it it has an AES out it has a USB out. I use the AES out because I like everything connected to one card. The USB does sound a little bit better and I think because um, its clock uses 32-bit, I'm not really technical into this stuff so I can't really tell you. Um, there's two um, outputs. There's the main output and also a secondary output. I use the secondary output because I have a dangerous ST monitor controller. But if you don't have a monitor controller, it has its own knob to control the volume. Also, there is a knob to control the headphones. The headphones sound really crisp and clear, and it sounds nice and pleasant. It doesn't sound crunchy. It's better than the dangerous ST um, con mon um, headphone amp that I have. I will say that I'm very, very impressed. When I'm checking my mixes, I get my uh, Bear Dynamics and I check them in the Crane Song headphone amp to see if there's anything sticking out. And it really is very revealing. The only thing I wish it had um, is a clock out so I could clock see because I really like the clock in the system, but it doesn't have a clock out so I can't clock my system with it and I think it uses some super clock I'm not really sure if you know what kind of clock it uses you could post it down in the comments section I told you that I'm not really technical about this um, but it really sounds really good I do clock it off my pad QES pad 2 converter which also has a wonderful clock and I'm very happy with the overall sound that I'm getting anyway thank you for watching this video this is, these are just my few, a few thoughts of what I think of the Crane Song Solaris. Very happy that I have it. Do I recommend it? Oh yeah, I recommend it. But it's really not cheap. So I'm just letting you know. Anyway, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I will, I will be bringing you more videos soon. And take care.